I'm gonna show you how great I am. Great I am. Great I am. This kid's gonna be somebody better than anybody ever knew. I'm gonna show you how great I am. I'm on a flight, can you take me far away? Give me a star to reach for, tell me what it takes, and I'll go so high, I'll go so high, my feet won't touch the ground. This is my wings and pull the strings, I bought these strings that all fly. it's Kirsten and um I look rough I don't have makeup on so that's what today's video is is me getting ready um so yeah I'm just gonna show you like very chill probably on average it's normally five minutes but today it'll probably take me like 10 to 15 minutes because I'm gonna be talking a lot and going really really slow with my makeup routine and yeah so hope you enjoy I know I filmed um one before but this is like an updated one. It's like a college quick look present routine. I wouldn't even say makeup because it's not a ton of makeup, but yeah. Uh, if you like this video, give it a like and subscribe if you're not already. Let's get into it. So I wake up, I wash my face with Murad. Um, it's just like the gel cleanser and it works really well on my skin. I have super like sensitive and dry skin, but sometimes it gets oily too, so like it's super confusing I would say. It's like combination skin, but because it's really cold outside, it's been more on the dry side, so we're trying to really moisturize and hydrate my skin, so yeah, I've been doing that, and then if my skin's like really going through it, I'll use this, I think it's called Alba, um, after sun gel, I got it after one of the first football games here on campus because literally it was insane how bad my sunburn was i'm not one to like burn easily but i don't know as of recent i definitely have been getting very burnt um so i guess i do burn more easy than i thought so yeah i needed to get some kind of like aloe gel situation so that really helps when I'm super, super, super dry. So I normally put it on just a little bit and then over that, I put on Aquaphor. Um, sometimes it looks like really disgusting on my skin, like almost too oily and greasy, which I hate. So sometimes I'll kind of just put on a lot so that I really um, get my skin moisturized, but then I'll like use the back of my hand to like blot it so that I don't look like sweaty and gross um I feel like today is a kind of good day like I don't look too greasy but sometimes in my old videos like um you can tell I very much moisturize and I just think it looks gross sometimes um but yeah today's not one of those days so yay maybe if I put the light on then I'll start to look greasy we don't know anyways so after that basically I just start doing my makeup um, for concealer, I use Too Faced Born This Way Sculpting Concealer. Super coverage. Love that. Um, also, little goes a long way for this one. Um, because I'm moisturizing a lot more, and, like, I'm kind of really dry under this left eye of mine. I don't know what happened. But, um, yeah, I just have, like, super dry skin under there. Um, anyways... If I put like even a little bit, it'll start to like, it's not cakey, that's not the right word. Basically not be blend in. I don't know if that makes sense. So like I'll put it and then after a couple um, minutes or like an hour or so, I'll look at it and it looks like disgusting. Like there's like um, a blob of it that's just like sitting there and not blended. Um, so to like negate that, I try to put on a lot less so that it doesn't like bunch up like that i don't know what the right word is because it's not cakey it's like um there's so much product that it's like creasing that's the right word creasing and like falling off my face and it's just gross so i try to put very little as i've mentioned 500 times um honestly this is disgusting but i don't like wet my blender my sponge 
I just kind of go in because my skin, like I said, is really moisturized. So it kind of just naturally blends in. But maybe that's why I'm feeling really dry under my eyes is because I don't use water. I don't know. Comment down below if that might be a reason why. But I like the way it blends with just like the moisturizer under my eye. Anyways, like I said, a little goes a long way. I don't want today to be like crazy makeup. I just want to look like I didn't just wake up and like I tried to look nice but like not a glam look or anything that I'm going for today because today should be a rest day for my skin because I have been doing a lot of makeup recently for performances and shows yesterday I had a show and um I don't know it felt like my skin was being not ruined but just you know had a lot of product on it so then today I wanted to be more natural it, I've had a lot to do today um it's probably like 1 30 p.m and so i've definitely like went to class and stuff already and done a lot of other errands but i want to kind of look good for the night time when i go out but um yeah i'm like very confident with my natural face but i like i said try to pick and choose when is good to like make my face beat and then when it's like better just keep it more natural so today's one of those like rest days for my skin where I didn't plan on having makeup on my face for like the entire day but just for like the afternoon so yeah anyway so I conceal under my eyes and then I do um in between my eyebrows because I get really red there for some reason um not that bad today actually so pretty good um and then if I'm red under here, my nose, I will put a little bit of concealer there, but today's kind of a good skin day, so I'm not going to do that. Um, yeah, I feel like I'm all concealed up. Now, I'm going to go in with my highlighter. So, recently, I have not done, like, blush or contour because my face has been dry and kind of like sunburnt or red in this area under my nose and then like I said on my um, in between my eyebrows and kind of on my eyes too are really dry and red so I feel like I kind of already have like a shadow look on my eyeballs just because or my eyelids because you know the redness um, and I don't think it looks that bad honestly it's just kind of a natural tone because like right here is very um, pale and then I just put concealer there so it also looks kind of pale. So I kind of like that look of making this match this area, which it already does because like I said, it's super dry. It's not actually, like I keep saying it looks bad, but I know it doesn't look that bad. Um, but yeah, I just like to not mess with that in this very moment. So I'm going to keep it natural and then I've just been doing highlighter right here on my cheekbones, on my nose, and then in the corners of my eye. And that's usually it. So let me go get my, I think it's actually under here. I always change where I put my um, products. Okay, so I've been using Cheek Leaders. Um, it's a contour blush and highlighter palette obviously you can tell I haven't been using like I said the blush or the contour I've been very much using the highlighter though and it's so good I'm just obsessed I'm taking this morphe brush very old but I love it works so great and I don't know why I prefer this shape of a brush for my highlighter as opposed to like the very thin um I think I have it actually as opposed to like a brush like this. I used to use this one all the time, but I've kind of been just switching it up and using this one and I've liked it a lot for like my nose and it's just easier because I'm not one to like do just a little bit of highlight. I like a lot of highlight. So I feel like this one does the job better. Um, okay, so like I said, I'm just kind of following where it makes sense. I have like hair on my face and I can't figure out where it's coming from. Okay, um, so like right here, boom beautiful and then on this side too 
fabulous. I'm gonna try to blend that a little more. Great, and then on my nose. Boom. And then a little higher up, like right there. You need to be able to see it from the side too. And then, like I said, in the corners of my eye. You can't even really see it on camera, but definitely is there. And then as I'm getting closer, I notice that I should probably blend this area a little more. Okay. And then that's kind of it for like my base makeup. Now the last step is like my eyes. Um, I forgot to talk about my lips. All I do is put on Aquaphor. Um, and then this is kind of where it depends on the day. Sometimes I like to use eyeliner. Um, this is just the NYX Super Skinny Eye Marker. And other days I like to just go in with my eyelash curler and then mascara, which I don't know where this is from. Oh, it's Revlon. And then this... Um, Mascara is Maybelline New York pumped up. I don't know how to say that, but yeah, this pink one, super thick um, mascara. I have some other ones that are like way smaller, um, but I don't know why this one just kind of like gets the job done, even though it's like not very convenient to carry around. And yeah, so I'm trying to decide. I feel like today's a thin eyeliner day. So like not a thick line, but just like a baby line. Do I have no shadow on? And I'm just going in with my awkward silence. Okay, like that will do the job. Let me go in a little further. Sometimes I do it when I just feel like I don't want to put on too much mascara because like taking off eyeliner for me is way easier than taking off my mascara. I also like the state of like how dry this is um, because it's like enough product to like get on my eye and call it a day but it's like not too much to where like if I mess up it won't like or it'll like get really messy if I just like wipe it off like you see I kind of went too high up there I just use my finger and it wipes off because like it's not that much product okay that will work and then yeah now I'm going to curl my lashes I can't really tell if my lashes are like in a good state right now. I don't think they're like bad. Um, I have been using fake eyelashes a lot. Um, I'm not obviously using them today, but um, yeah, I feel like they're good and long and healthy, but like definitely not the best they've ever been. So I'm grateful, but like also they can be better. See, I'm just going in, um, putting mascara on my top lashes. Like I said, I don't want to do, like, too much or too clumpy today. So, yeah, that should be good. And then, other side. Boom. And then now my bottom lashes. There we go. Okay, wait, you can kind of see what I was talking about earlier. Whoops. Well, now you can't. Let me get closer to the light. Do you see? It's really not that bad, but, like, there you go. Now you can see it. Like, that creasing it's getting, I barely used anything, and it's already doing that. I also am not a big, like, powder person, so if y'all have any recommendations for that um, without me having to use, like, powder, let me know. I don't think it's the moisturizer, but maybe it is. Um, but, yeah, when that happens, I just blend it in, and it's fine.
Um, so yeah. The only other step that I normally would do on days where I like don't want to do too much makeup is where I look at my eyebrows and decide what's going on with them. Today, I don't know. I definitely will brush them because they're kind of like not in a great shape. But um, yeah, recently I've been having like, I guess sparse eyebrows on this side. Um, like towards the bottom you can see there's hair, but then towards the top, I feel like it's pretty like sparse like I said and you can't really see that I have eyebrows so I've been filling it in just like right there and it's been looking fine but like today it's not really bothering me too badly so I'm just gonna go in with my Sephora clear brow gel this one's super super cheap and it does a great job I was really sad about the um what's that really good brand hi it's editing Kirsten here it's benefit brow gel I like literally listened to the audio one time and I was like, Benefit, how did I not remember that? So yeah, Benefit Brow Gel is the one I'm talking about for this next little segment. I can't think of it, but like basically think of the best eyebrow gel slash eyebrow brand out there. It's not coming to mind, but like pretty much everyone knows it. it's the best one. I was really sad when those, um, that company didn't have any more brow gel they had like the eyebrow pencils left but they didn't have any more brow gel so i was really upset because like my eyebrows do not need filling in for the most part besides that little area um so like i'd rather invest in like brow gel than just like pencils that i don't use so very sad when i went to sephora that day and they didn't have any so i ended up going with this one and i actually really like it um you know considering the cost of this one in comparison and then like how good of a job it does i'm like maybe that was just my sign to go with the cheaper route because it basically does the same exact thing because i did have that other brow gel and i don't really see too much of a difference so yeah anyways i just go up and then towards like this downward area of my eyebrows i'll just brush it down a little bit um yeah, just doing what looks good for me. Again, I never like pluck my eyebrows or I haven't gotten them waxed in like forever. So what I'll do like for maintenance is just pluck right here. And then sometimes I'll use like that um, face razor and I'll go from like my forehead down to where my eyebrow is. And then same thing, my sideburns over here. And then I won't really go anywhere under this area unless I see that it's like getting too crazy. Um, so yeah, that's basically what I do just to like keep a shape. You know, if I'm having hair up here and stuff, you're not really gonna see um, a great shape. You'll still see one, but it's not gonna be like as precise. And I just like when my face is kind of shaved off. I don't actually really, shave my face anywhere else um I definitely do my mustache but like I know people do it like all over their face and I haven't really done that um just because I heard somebody say it like makes you break out so obviously I'm not like wanting to do that but yeah I might need to try it one day when I'm just shaving my eyebrow area and yeah that's basically it for today I hope this video was enjoyable to watch I know it's kind of boring but um I've been just super busy with my life and I'll definitely vlog this weekend. I have shows and just lots of fun things coming up and my parents are coming up to watch me. So that's exciting, but I'm really enjoying this Friday. Um, it's called a dark day. Um, basically where like the theater goes dark and like it's not open and there's no shows happening. So that means like the cast gets to like relax and you know, especially because this specific show has live musicians and music um you know there's opera singers so like they need to rest their voice today i'm a dancer so i'm not really gonna rest my body too much i'm kind of more resting my mind um i do have a hip-hop class tonight and then sometime today i'm gonna take a ballet class just on my own with like Catherine morgan video so i'm taking like a chill day but still productive um, and I'm resting my mind more in the way that, like, I'm, I guess, kind of keeping to myself more today, not, like, socializing too much, and 
just like focusing on me and yeah i love you guys so much i hope you enjoyed this week's video and i will see you guys next week with another one bye do you want a close-up of my makeup today i'm like getting really close to the mirror it does not look that great but that's me and what i was going for yeah bye i love y'all Our deepest fear is not that we are inadequate. Our deepest fear is that we are powerful beyond measure. It all started with a dream.